Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a very realistic nighttime cleaning routine as a mom of two. As you can see in the entire video, my kids are running all over the place. Riker has just hit some kind of stage, you guys, and he's just sassy. He's into everything. It's really funny, but it makes for quite the cleaning routine every single evening. So um, just keep on watching. You'll see. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. He is, look at him. Oh, he's just so cute though. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get all of the cleaning motivation and I hope you see that, hey, life is not perfect. My cleaning is not perfect. This is what it looks like most of the time versus my other cleaning videos. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this and a little bit of reality and I hope you can relate a little bit. <laughs> So typically what I do when I start out with my evening uh, cleaning routine is I like to straighten up the living room. This night in particular I was kind of rearranging some things because I'm trying to get a good feel for the living room and like what I want to do to organize it and just to make it a little bit more cozy. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put some curtains up in here and I'm going to add some cubbies on either side of this entertainment wall for um, like cube organization for the kids toys and I would really like to get a media center in there I know it's so funny if you guys don't know uh, my husband and I actually make media centers we um, do it's Eminem rustics it's linked down below for you guys all the time um, but we actually make like tons of furniture and things like that and we are always the last to get furniture uh, for ourselves um, so anyways, there is a lot that I want to do to this living room and I wanted to just feel it out tonight. I am really feeling a change here. Um, so anyways, I have that new basket uh, for the blankets here and I will leave that linked down below for you. I absolutely love it. I love these oversized like knit baskets. I think that they just add a really nice texture to the room. Um, really like modern farmhouse. It could be boho. Um, it could be chic. It, could, it just goes with so many different kinds of um, like decoration styles. So anyways, I'll leave that link down below for you guys, but I typically will start out by cleaning my living room and then I'll move on to the kitchen and the dining room and vacuum and clean all of the surfaces, clean off uh, the baby's tray because he always makes such a mess, but that is typically the order that I will go in when I am cleaning every single night. All right, you guys are in for a real treat. At the end of this video, Mike and I teamed up to uh, give you guys a cooking recipe, like a little cooking show, if you will. And I don't know about you guys, but like Mike and I go back and forth and like argue about how to actually cook the food more so than actually cooking the food. Um, so enjoy that uh, realistic little like cooking recipe show, whatever for you guys as well. But it is a shrimp boil, it's really good. And I also share with you the Weight Watchers points that, they, that it is. So make sure that you stay tuned for that recipe at the end of this video.
Welcome, welcome to the Mike and Morgan cooking show. We just like halved, quart of the cob, and then um, like quartered up the um, potatoes. We're gonna use better than bouillon, and this is, we're gonna fill the, okay, okay. Hold on, okay. hold on. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. There, better than bouillon. This is what we use for our chicken broth. Our things. Well, I like wonderful today. today. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, you might want to put water in that pot first. Oh, uh, no. You we'll want to fill it up water. about halfway with water. Ooh, halfway? Really? Is that, I don't think it's halfway. She said it's just the bottom. All that in there. Now that we've agreed how to actually make our shrimp oil. We are, okay, so if we were doing this in the Instant Pot, like I said, I would just do a little bit of chicken broth on the bottom with some Old Bay seasoning, but we're not doing the Instant Pot right now because we're not, I don't want to finagle. You guys are really crooked. Sorry. Um, I don't want to finagle all of the pieces for the Instant Pot, so we are going to use the Dutch oven. It's such a lovely name. And we're going to add a few, I would do, let's start with two tablespoons of better than bouillon. <laughs> One. And then two, okay. And then after you're done, putting two, a holy bajoli. Two tablespoons. Okay, now you're gonna add your old bay. Oh, but I'm gonna add it. Now we just go, just like this much. No, the, no, the, there we go, that's all you need guys, that's all you need. I'll tell you what, it goes a long way. This is so painful cooking with you. Do, okay, do the other side, really? Do the other side, there. All right, you mix it, baby. <laughs> painful! More. I'm kidding. So now we're adding the corn and the potatoes. Um, you're supposed to add the corn and potatoes first, actually. Corn, that's what it is. No, I mean like, okay. Corn and potatoes first, you just said that. Right. You're, you're like, fill it up, almost full. It's not. Okay, well, let's just. <sighs> okay, anyways, on a serious note, Old Bay is what makes this recipe. It tastes so good, so it gives it that shrimp boil taste. It's very yummy. Let's put the rest of the potatoes into the water. You're going to boil it until the potatoes are almost completely tender through. Okay, now that the corn and the potatoes are done, we're going to add the shrimp and the kielbasa. This is turkey kielbasa, but same, same. This is already no. fully cooked. Now the shrimp only needs to cook in here for one minute. Okay, while this is finishing cooking, all you're doing is um, finishing up the, the shrimp and the sausage is already fully cooked when you get it, so you're just kind of heating it up. But the shrimp, you want to cook um, just enough, so just enough when it turns pink, about a minute or two. And then while that's cooking, you're going to make the butter sauce, which we're going to make out of Old Bay seasoning and butter in a um, little like frying pan thing. I feel like I would be the worst cooking show host, but all right. Um, I'm trying to think. So this would be a little bit more Weight Watchers friendly if you use something um, in place of the butter, um, maybe like margarine, but I am not a fan of margarine. I think it's actually really unhealthy for you. Um, so we're just gonna take a chance with the Weight Watchers and we are going to do a whole stick of butter um, for the sauce on top. And I'm going to melt it and then I'm gonna add a tablespoon or two of the Old Bay seasoning and color good. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take 
everything out of the boil pot here, stick it into um, a pan. I'm just using a Pyrex like, dish thing. I'm gonna take it all out, put it in there, cover it with butter, broil it for just two minutes, and then it's done. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I'm just pouring the rest of that buttery sauce over the top and then I broil it. I did add a little extra of that Old Bay seasoning. So good. If you guys liked this video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.